Welcome to Cassiano Easy Math. So this video is about solving another exponential equation. 5 raised to a equals 3100 plus 5 raised to b. And the question is, what is the value of a and what is the value of b? But before we start, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get you updated on new videos. And feel free to leave me a message uh, for any questions that you have on the video. All right, let's go ahead and start solving. So in here, in this equation, we have this uh, variable on the left. We have another variable on the right. That's uh, exponent b. And on the left, exponent a. So what are we going to do first is arrange those uh, variables. So let's put all the vari variables to the left and just constant to, to the right. Okay, let's do that. All right, so let's start uh, rewriting the equation. That's uh, 5 raised to a. That one right there mo moving to the left, that will be from positive to negative. So minus 5 raised to b equals 3,100. So now if you notice, the equation implies that 5 raised to a should be greater than 5 raised to b. So this simply means that a is greater than b. And uh, the value of 5 raised to a minus 5 raised to b should be greater than 0. So that means it cannot be a negative value. All right. And since this equation has two variables, but it has just it's just one equation but you got two variables and uh, it implies here in this in the uh, in the equation that uh, the difference of this cannot be negative so that means it's greater than zero and it says here a is greater than b so we have to represent a in terms of b so that just means that we have to find another equation out of that. All right. And since A is greater than B, we can represent A with respect to B as A equals to B plus plus K, where K represents the value added to B to become the same amount as A. So by adding K to B, this uh, completes the equation that will be equaling to the value of a all right so and now we we start substituting the value of a with respect to b in uh, in the original equation so that is 5 raised to a is is this amount as b plus k minus 5 raised to b equals 3100 and this equation can be written the same way as 5 raised to b times plus 5 raised to k minus 5 raised to b equals 3100. So and from, from here we can we can factor this out. That's 5 raised to b times 5 raised to k minus 1 equals 3100. So from here, we focus our attention on the right side of the equation, the, the constant term, 3100. It can be written the same way as uh, the factors of 25 and 124. 25 times 124. And that is equal to 5 raised to b multiplied by the quantity 5 raised to k minus 1. So from this point, next thing we have to do is uh, equate this uh, this factor of here, 5b to 25. And this factor, the quantity 5 raised to k minus 1 to 124. And uh, the next, uh, the other solution is the other way around. We, we This factor 5b will be matched to 124. And this uh, factor 5 raised to k minus 1 will be matched to or 
equated will be equated to 25 all right so let's start the first solution by equating this part factor 5b to 25 the reason i chose 25 instead of 124 is that 25 we can really convert the base as 5 and that's exponent 2 so that is 5 raised to b equals 25 and the other part is this factor 5 raised to k minus 1 equals 124 so from here 5 raised to b equals 25 can be written the same way as 5 raised to b equals and 25 is 5b squared so that is 5 raised to the second power the equation says that they have the same base now and the exponent is b on the on the right side is 2 so this just simply means that b equals 2 all right and on the other hand so over here to so get to find the value of uh, k is simplify this equation 5 raised to k is equal to 1 to 24 transposing negative 1 to the other side will be plus 1 so it's equal to 125 that is 5 raised to k and from here 5 raised to k is equal to 125 is 5 raised to the third power so from here at this point the same way again as uh, how we found the value b we have now the same base so that means the exponents equated right or that means k is equal to 3 so k equals to 3 so this is cancel 5 okay so we found the value of k and we found the value of b so from the earlier relationship uh, of a with respect to b we had that equation a is equals to b plus k so a therefore is equals to 2 plus 3 then a is equal to 5 all right from this point to confirm our answer is we have to check the values of a and b and to be substituted to the original equation all right let's do that so that is 5 raised to a equals 3100 plus 5 raised to b where a is equal to 5 so that's 5 raised to 5 equals 3100 plus 5 raised to b where b is 2 okay so this 5 raised to, to the fifth hour is 3125 and this question mark right there is this equal to the right side so we find that one 3100 plus 5 squared is 25 so 3125 is equal to 3125 so our answer is correct a is 5 b is 2 if we go through the other uh, route going towards our solution and finally getting the answer we go back to the one a little earlier so we'll be using the second solution the values will be slightly different compared to these values of, of a and b we'll find that out so from this point we uh, equated 5b to this uh, factor right here of 3125 we equated that 5b to 125 and this second part of the factor was equated to 124 right in here so the second solution we'll be doing is equating this 5b to 124 instead and 5 raised to k minus 1 is to 25 so that's what we're going to do so in here that is 5 raised to b equals 124 
Okay, and the other one, five raised to k minus one equals twenty-five. So from here, let's get a border right there. So from here, there's no factor that we can get that be uh, simplified as close as the base five. So all we have to do is by the use of natural logarithm or the common logarithm. This time we'll be using the natural logarithm. All right. So that means this is written as uh, ln of five raised to b equals ln of 124. And this simply can be simplified as it's b ln of five equals ln of 124 and finding the value of b is equal to ln of 124 divided by ln of 5 b is equal to with our calculator came up to the value of b as 2.995009 value of b and uh, on the other side find the value of k so we simplify this equation right here 5k 5 raised to k equals to 25 plus 1 equals 5k equals 26 okay so we're using the natural logarithm on here again so that is ln of 5 raised to k equals ln of 26 so putting the, the exponent on the front okay so it's k ln 5 equals ln 26 finding value of k is ln 26 divided by ln 5 and the value of k by using our calculator came up to 2.024369 so that's the value of k so from here to get the value of a from the relationship we have another equation earlier a is equals b plus k that is a equals b plus k and a, since we found the value of k and b, we substitute this on here. So the value of a now is 5.019378 as the value of a. Now, if you notice our values of a and b over here compared to the first solution, it will be a little way off. If we see that uh, on the first solution we have b is 2 and right here now is b equals 2.995009 and a here is 5 and a here is about the same 5.019378 so the best thing to do now is verify our answer second values are correct so we have to check our solution so to check from the original equation we have that 5 raised to a equals 3100 plus 5 raised to b and we found that value of 5 raised to a is 3222 that's 3223 as you say 3.997 equals 3,100 plus the value of 5 raised to b is 123.990.99 now here there's a question mark right here now is the left side of the equation equal to the right side of the equation now we have to find out we add this up 3,100 plus 123.999 that is 
3,000.99 and in here that's 3,223.997 so that is 0 .0, 0 0.002 difference so that is this is approximately equal to the right side so about the same with 0 0.002 difference now if we take a look at our answers had we rounded off our values earlier that is b that is 2.99 have we rounded had we rounded it off to 3 instead of 2.995009 and uh, the value of a rounded off to 5 instead of this all this new decimal places on the right we would have gotten a, a different answer to figure that out we have to if we if we have to round off the values of a and b we would have arrived to a different answer so let's do that so as proof we're taking the value of b round it off to to 3 instead of that uh, 2.995009 and a round it off to Instead of 5.019378, we have 5. All we have to do is substitute these values to the original equation. So, uh, okay, so that is 5 raised to A equals 3100 plus 5 raised to B. So that is substituting the values. That is 5 raised to A is 5 equals. 3100 plus 5 raised to B where B is 3 okay that is 3125 equals so this question mark right there so 3100 plus 5 raised to B where B is 3 that's 5 times 525 that's 125 so this is becomes 3,225 and the left side is 3,125 so if you notice that is not equal and there's a difference of 100 right because this is 2 and this is 1 so that's 100 100 points difference so it, that means it's really important when we're doing calculations using the logarithm, natural logarithm or the common logarithm. This just simply means that uh, the more digits that we take on the, uh, the decimal places of the, the value of A and B, the more accurate we, we get. So that's the importance of that. So we have to get as many digits on the decimal places for the values of A and B to get the accurate solution, get close enough to the uh, the real answer. So that's all for today. And uh, for those uh, new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit that subscribe button right there and uh, the notification bell. So whenever I upload new videos, you get updated right away. Thank you very much for watching and I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Bye. I will see you in the next videos.